Hi guys, Brian here. Today I wanted to show you how to build and launch applications, Go applications, from within Visual Studio Code. And the way I'm doing it is a little different because I couldn't get the debug functionality to work in VS Code. But now I can type Control Shift B and see the application build in the terminal and then launch. But if I use the debug functionality, what happens is the debugger passes a different option to go build, which causes some errors when producing, when processing the GLFW code, a lot of undefined stir dupes. So what I did is I used the task engine in Visual Studio Code to imitate how I would do go build and then launching the application directly from a bash terminal. And you can do that by going to control shift P to find your command palette, then type tasks, choose configure task runner. And usually you'll get a template with a version of the task runtime, the task file set to 0 0.1.0. But now with the latest versions of Visual Studio Code, you can set this to 2.0.0 to unlock some functionality within the terminal. So you can copy this file and modify it for your needs. I'll provide a link right in the description. But let's quickly go over a couple things that are important. First, we've got is build command. That binds it to control shift B. But in the latest versions of VS Code, you can assign a hotkey to any task. So it doesn't really matter. But I just needed control shift B. That was all I needed. So that worked out well for me. Is background means that when your application launches, like when I launch mine in a, a separate window, the spinner at the bottom of the screen won't keep spinning while this window is open. The next thing is the most important part and the part that took me the most time to figure out was the PowerShell syntax of a command that would run go build and only if the compilation succeeded run the binary. So in PowerShell you'll have to use sort of an if statement and this was the simplest way I found to do that. Next is shell command treats the previous command that you specified as a shell command rather than the name of a binary and failing with no such executable called go build dash v and so forth. And finally we have an option to run the command at the workspace root. In my case the work, my workspace is the go code directory for my project and my application ends up being dumped in the root of that folder. Finally you can also specify a Linux version with the Linux object of this JSON and here I've simply just changed from the PowerShell syntax to using the ampersand conditional operator to say that once again if the build succeeds then run the application and I've dropped .exe which is not produced on Linux so I hope that helps and with this now I'm able to build and launch from within Visual Studio Code and also use the git functionality directly from Visual Studio Code so I can pretty much do everything in the editor so I hope that helps thanks for watching See you later.